let's have a look at how it actually works. So if I, I think I've got this one hooked in so far. So press the button, sit back, relax, wait for the flying machine to fly off and make all sorts of noise. And off it goes, slowly lighting the whole thing up. These new copper bulbs that we have, as if you wouldn't want something like that. It, I think it might even, it could possibly rival the autocrafter. I'm not sure. Okay, so here we go. It's coming back down now and it will lock into position. And then any second we'll get our item come straight out from here. And which it did. Nice. So there you go. We've now got a redstone torch, not by doing anything, but using this gigantic, ridiculous <laughs> logic center. Okay, so you may have seen this before. I will mention while we're here that the original idea was from Mr. How do you say his name? Shish Wam Mum? Something like that. Obviously, it's fantastic, but you probably want to know how this is all working. So, you just saw the flying machine on this side come up and it went through all of these. Now, what we have is nine of these individual logic modules inside here. And how this is actually working is very similar to your encoder machines. This is where Exuma's idea actually comes into it. So basically, if we have a look along, all that we have is this block gets powered by the observer that's attached to the flight machine. And then we have, have, there we go. Okay. But then we have obviously a redstone torch that's normally powering this, but in this case it gets depowered. And so when it gets depowered, it allows for this torch to actually power this line underneath. And if we go along this line, we will eventually find that what is inside here is a whole bunch of pressure plates. So in this system, these pressure plates are actually my placeholders. So you need to use placeholders if you just plan to use one single auto crafter, kind of like this. So let's try and fire it off again. And then you should see a bit more about what's actually going on. So if we just, just tuck, tuck in here. Okay. So you can see that we've got some placeholders coming through. This machine's not the fastest at the moment. We don't want it too fast anyway. It's not really that big a deal to be too fast, but you can see that all the placeholders are in place. And then what will happen is that when that flying machine gets down to the bottom again, it will actually set off two different redstone lines from the left and the right here. One of these is basically going to empty out all of these placeholders and the other one is then going to activate the crafting like that and then we have a redstone torch come out it's a very crazy very large very mental machine okay let's try and explain it a little bit better so i need to hook up uh, what five more of these okay so for our next one what we want is to make our own repeaters so crafting recipe is fairly simple with this one. We just need one there, there and there, and then across, wait, no, that's not right. Hey, how do I make repeaters again? Ah, uh, it's redstone dust. There you, there you go. Okay. Oh, uh, you can tell I've been playing bedrock too long. Been away from Java. <laughs> I've forgotten every recipe. Okay, so we need to create that recipe. So this one's going to require three of our placeholders and then we can go from there. So this one is going to be on the second line, which is red. So first of all, we can use our placeholders, which are in the first position. And we need three of those, two and three. Okay, now what we need next is our redstone torch which is on the last line here. So if I go down, so this is the first one where we've got a placeholder, second one's got a placeholder, third one's got a placeholder, and this one we need obviously the redstone torch. Then what we need is some redstone dust. So this will be right next to the placeholder. So if we jump back down here, okay, so placeholder, 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 
redstone torch, redstone dust, which is down here. Then the next one goes back to a redstone torch. Then we need three of the stone, which is right next to those. So I should have labeled these. <laughs> I really should have labeled these. That's for the next iteration, I think. Okay, so the next thing that we need is that one and that one and that one. Okay, so that should now be hooked up to actually work with making a repeater. So if we have a look in here, it should have fired all this off individually. Yep, and it has. So let's clear that all out and give it a shot. So now if we go up over here, press this button, send off the flying machine, and hopefully we should actually have our repeater come back through to us. This thing is amazingly awesome. <laughs> just, just having everything so easily just form and stone, stone, and bingo. So all that we need to have now is the flying machine come back down. Now it needs to remove the placeholders and then we have a signal that comes through and it makes our repeater for us. So if we jump over here again, it has sent off its signals. It's doing its magical wizardry thing and our repeater is now there. So one thing that you should probably notice about this is that this recipe we're building from the bottom up. So this is the lowest line, the next line, the next line, the next line, the next line, next line, next line, next line, next line. You can't build it from the top down. It doesn't work like that. So what's the next one that we have from here? I'm not sure which ones I've hooked up. So I've hooked up the first one, second one, third one, uh, and we've got three more. Okay, so glowstone block. How were they made? This is 50% a highly intelligent person making things out of redstone and 50% a highly intelligent person remembering that he's forgotten most of the recipes. Okay, we've definitely got this down pack. So this one becomes a bit more complicated. So we're gonna be using our placeholders in these four positions and we're gonna be using redstone dust and we're gonna be using glowstone. Okay, this is gonna be fun. So what do we have here? Let's have a look at our auto sorter. So that's our placeholder. Our redstone dust is in the second and the glowstone dust is in the fourth. Okay, so let's start from the start. <laughs> Programming these is definitely fun. <laughs> I will say it's definitely fun. Okay, so we want the first position to be our placeholder. Second one, we want is glowstone dust yes then the third one will have another placeholder and then the fourth one no 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 don't do that why did we do that okay so that's another placeholder that's the end of the top row so this one will be glowstone dust no this one will be the redstone dust sorry this one is going to be one, two, three, four. Hopefully I can count. You'd assume that I could count and remember this stuff off by hand. Yeah, not really. <laughs> not really at all. Oh, 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 oh. There's a problem here. There's a problem. One little bit of redstone dust was disappeared. I don't know why. I must have just missed it when I was making it, to be honest. I am a bit clumsy like that sometimes. So where are we up to? So that should be our glowstone block. Then we need another piece of redstone. And then we need another placeholder. Then we need another redstone. Then we need another placeholder. And that should be us at the very top. So if I'm correct, that should look correct inside here. And it does, excellent. Okay, let's push the button and see how it goes. Hopefully this is all okay. 
And no! Away, my flying machines! Fly, my pretties! Fly! <laughs> Ah, th this has broken me, this machine. Ah, you don't know how many iterations there was of this machine. It was a nightmare, an absolute nightmare to build this thing. Ah, okay. All right, we, we've got it coming back down. And once it reaches the bottom, we should have, hopefully, with any luck, our glowstone block and here we go moment of truth is it it's our glowstone block okay look at that fantastic so we've gotten four down just one more to go and nothing's in there which is good so all that we have to do try and press it why am i keep continuously pressing these blocks it's this block it's the one with the button on it, obviously. Oh my God. All right, let's try this one out. With any luck, we should actually have a block of, I forgot what it's called now. <laughs> I'm so broken at this point. <laughs> this machine's very, very annoying to come up with the concept of how to make it. Ah. <laughs> hey, what was its name, by the way? It was Stone Bricks. Oh, why can I not remember names? Okay, now for the final one of this testing period. So, we need to make stairs. So, stone is in the second to last column. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, let's just go with it and see what happens. Okay, now we want, in reverse order, stone. Then we want two placeholders. So one like that, and wait, where, where was I? Okay, now I'm here. Okay, and a second one. Then we want two pieces of stone. So one and two. Then we want a placeholder again, which is there. Then we want three pieces of stone. So one, two and finally three that should be the recipe in reverse order for having stairs here we go please give me stairs let's see how this goes all right and we'll just empty out whatever's in here that was a bollocks okay so the thing is is that when you're programming this system you need to actually go back down and remove whatever ends up in the auto crafter because otherwise it I mean, it should be the right recipe, as long as you did it from the bottom up. If you did it from the top down, it'll be completely wrong and you'll have to clear it out. Okay, definitely empty now. Pressing button. And here we go. So, do we actually get things in the right order? Yes. 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 And then we have our next stone the second stone and then a placeholder then three stones three stones three stones three stones three stones this is like playing those pokey machines i mean not that i play pokey machines there we go bingo okay so it means now that we should get when the flying machine comes back down comes back down comes back down yes <laughs> we should have stairs hey check it out okay so now we have it all completely programmed and it's all wonderful and all good so obviously it's not the biggest at the moment and that's because basically i've only just finished designing it <laughs> that's that's uh how fresh this is the hoppers we need to find a better solution for that if someone has some sort of suggestion over what would be a better feed-in system for every single one of the droppers that would be a really fantastic suggestion aside from that yes i do know that we're making one block at a time i need to work out a way that we can create some sort of an extra signal to increase the number of each one that it creates so here's the problem with autocraft is that we're going to have to overcome eventually because we want to have say for instance we want to make 
64 blocks. Now that would be really useful to have just all of them getting built one after another. It'd be fantastic and not having to press a button each time. However, if you were to make the first one, well, the first logic code repeat over, instead of it stacking individually like that, it actually stacks next to it. So that creates this new problem where we have to actually have this entire machine go through all of the programming that we need so that it's stacked in the right order, but then have it just blast out crazy amounts of items and then it should be able to automatically fill in with everything. So this is actually assigning how things are made and then we can assign mass amounts of something into here. That's fine, we can get there with that, but we're gonna to have to work out how to do it. Aside from that, I'm flying machines versus having just very simple lines like redstone lines or something like that going vertically. Yeah, I mean, there's pros and cons to each side. Um, I kind of like the flying machines. I, I have a weakness for flying machines. So at the moment, I'm going to leave it like this. I think it's better like this. Um, aside from that, we need to build this thing bigger because obviously, you know, having a couple items that you can make, yeah, that's, that's cool. But what if we had every item in Minecraft that we could make at the push of a button. Now that would be cool. Even if we did have to sacrifice, you know, being able to make lots of them over and over again automatically, well, we could really just have the flying machine go back up and down over and over. But that that's a slow way of doing it. That is where the redstone dust might be a better idea. We'll, we'll work on that. We'll work on that. Don't worry about it. But aside from that, we need to make this a lot bigger so that we can make every block in Minecraft. So we're gonna to have to stretch this whole thing out this way, which there's a hill there. Hmm, I did not think this through very well. I really didn't. Go, you're gonna to have to get evicted. <laughs> I would love to hear your guys' thoughts about what you think about this. I'm pretty psyched out about it. It's it's an absolute goliath and so if any youtubers want to make any videos on it yeah feel free there's a link in the description for a world download and my god this is a massive behemoth <laughs> i love it so much i'll catch you guys in the next one and see ya i don't wave every time i wave i break something <laughs> don't wave <laughs>